Yo, I am Dr. Cool. Have you ever heard of Maxwell Chikumbutso? He's a Zimbabwean engineer and some are calling him a visionary. He claims to have invented a car that runs on radio waves. No gasoline, no electricity, no hydrogen, just invisible energy harnessed into motion. Western media has been silent about it. His technology could disrupt the world. Imagine a world free from big oil where energy is a right for all. This is Chikumbutso's promise. Think about it. What if every household could generate its own clean, limitless energy? No more reliance on power grids, no more monthly bills, no more dependence on governments or corporations for our basic needs. Chikumbutso's technology has the potential to liberate us from the shackles of centralized power, empowering individuals and communities to become self-sufficient. Governments long accustomed to wielding energy as a tool of control would find their leverage diminished. Energy giants like ExxonMobil and Duke Energy, built on the backs of fossil fuels and outdated infrastructure, would face extinction. The entire power structure of the world would be upended. Imagine the geopolitical implications. Countries currently beholden to oil-rich nations for their energy needs would suddenly find themselves in control of their own destinies. Let's talk about those noisy, polluting generators we rely on during power outages. With Chikumbutso's technology, they become relics of the past. Imagine a world without the roar of diesel engines, the smell of exhaust fumes, or the worry of running out of fuel during an emergency. Companies like Cummins and Honda, giants in the generator industry, would see their multi-billion dollar empires crumble overnight. The demand for their products would plummet, forcing them to adapt or perish in the face of this disruptive innovation. By eliminating the need for fossil fuel power generators, we take a giant leap towards a cleaner, healthier planet. The air we breathe becomes purer, the noise pollution decreases, and our carbon footprint shrinks dramatically. Now, let's talk about the airline industry. Imagine planes soaring without a single drop of fuel. No more refueling stops, just limitless range and efficiency. Chikumbutso's technology could revolutionize air travel. Boeing and Airbus would rethink their design philosophy, the era of fuel-guzzling jets would end, the real winners would be the passengers, air travel would become affordable for everyone. Even the electric car revolution hailed as the future of transportation pales in comparison to Chikumbutso's vision. While companies like Tesla pour billions into battery technology and charging infrastructure, his invention bypasses these limitations entirely. Imagine a car that never needs to be plugged in, never requires a costly battery replacement, and never suffers from range anxiety. This is the true potential of self-powered transportation, and it's a game-changer. The implications for the automotive industry are seismic. Tesla's vast network of superchargers would become obsolete. The entire transportation sector would undergo a radical transformation, freeing us from our dependence on fossil fuels and paving the way for a cleaner, more sustainable future. The shift away from fossil fuels has sparked a different kind of dependence, lithium-ion batteries. We're tethered to a finite resource, fraught with ethical and environmental concerns. Chikumbutso's technology blows all that away. Companies like Cattell, LG Chem and Panasonic, dominant forces in the battery industry, would face a stark choice, adapt or die. The toxic mining practices associated with lithium extraction would become a thing of the past. This isn't just about disrupting an industry, it's about breaking free from the limitations of our current technological paradigm, so... Remember the days of scrambling for a charger, the frustration of a dead phone battery? Now imagine a world where those anxieties are gone. Chikumbutso's technology could power our devices indefinitely, harvesting energy from the radio waves that permeate our environment. Tech giants like Apple and Samsung, whose business models rely heavily on planned obsolescence and the constant churn of new devices, would face a significant challenge. Imagine a world where smartphones, laptops and tablets never need to be plugged in. The convenience and freedom this would bring is almost unimaginable. No more battery anxiety, no more searching for outlets, just constant, uninterrupted connectivity. For many around the world, cooking involves the cost and danger of LPG gas cylinders. Chikumbutso's self-powered systems could render this obsolete. Imagine kitchens powered by a clean, inexhaustible energy source, free from monthly bills and the risks associated with flammable fuels. The impact on developing nations where access to clean cooking fuel is often limited would be particularly profound. 
Respiratory illnesses caused by indoor air pollution from traditional cooking methods would plummet, improving public health and saving lives. It's about providing everyone with access to basic necessities like clean cooking fuel, regardless of their socio-economic status. The traditional automotive industry built on the internal combustion engine faces an existential threat from electric vehicles, but Chikumbutso's technology presents an even greater disruption, one that could make both gas guzzlers and EVs obsolete. Toyota, Ford, GM and other automotive giants would be forced to make a stark choice, adapt to this new paradigm or face extinction. Imagine a world where the roar of engines is replaced by the silent hum of self-powered vehicles. The air in our cities becomes cleaner, the dependence on foreign oil disappears and the cost of transportation plummets. It's about creating a future where transportation is sustainable, affordable and accessible to all. The ubiquitous gas station, a fixture of our modern landscape, would become a relic of the past. No more gas pumps, no more convenience stores, hawking overpriced snacks, just empty lots and faded signs. Giants like BP and Shell, whose fortunes were built on the extraction and sale of fossil fuels, would see their empires crumble. Even the nascent electric vehicle charging industry would be disrupted. Why bother with charging stations when cars can power themselves? The dream of a nationwide network of EV chargers would evaporate overnight. It's about reimagining our cities and towns, reclaiming space currently dedicated to fueling our outdated modes of transportation. Imagine a world where the air is clean, the oceans are pristine, and the threat of climate change recedes. Chikumbutso's technology, by eliminating our dependence on fossil fuels, offers a glimmer of hope for a sustainable future. No more oil spills, no more greenhouse gas emissions, no more toxic byproducts of energy production. The planet would begin to heal itself, and future generations would inherit a world where clean air and water are not luxuries but basic rights. This isn't just about saving the planet, it's about recognizing our interconnectedness with the natural world. It's about understanding that the health of our planet is inextricably linked to our own well-being. For decades, the global balance of power has been dictated by access to oil, but Chikumbutso's technology has the potential to shift that paradigm, placing Africa, the birthplace of this innovation, at the forefront of the new energy economy. Imagine a world where OPEC's grip on global energy markets is broken. Countries that have long been exploited for their resources would finally have the opportunity to control their own destinies. The flow of wealth would be reversed, with developing nations becoming exporters of technology and innovation, rather than simply suppliers of raw materials. It's about leveling the playing field and creating a world where every nation has the opportunity to thrive, regardless of its history or its access to natural resources. Chikumbutso's technology could lead to job losses in traditional industries like oil, gas and automotive, but it would create new opportunities in renewable energy and sustainable transportation. Imagine profits redistributed to the people, fueling economic prosperity and social mobility. Governments would need to provide retraining programs for displaced workers. The job market would benefit, creating sustainable and fulfilling jobs. It's about valuing sustainability, innovation and people's well-being over profits. Imagine a world where military might is no longer measured by access to oil. Chikumbutso's technology could revolutionize warfare, giving nations the ability to power their defense systems indefinitely. Drones could fly for days without refueling, ships could patrol coastlines for months on end, and tanks could operate with unprecedented range and endurance. The entire landscape of modern warfare would be transformed. The balance of power would shift, potentially leading to a more peaceful and stable world. It's about ensuring that it's used responsibly and ethically to protect rather than to exploit. A fossil fuels devastate public health, causing millions of premature deaths yearly. Pharmaceutical companies profit from our collective illness. Imagine clean air and a world without respiratory illnesses. Chikumbutso's technology can save millions of lives, redirect funds to preventative care and public health, create a world where everyone lives a long, healthy life. Chikumbutso claims his self-powered car can be produced for around $14,000. That's less than the price of a replacement battery for many electric vehicles. Why choose a gasoline car or an electric vehicle? when a self-powered alternative is available at a fraction of the cost. The automotive industry must adapt or die. 
This isn't just about saving money, it's about challenging consumerism. Embrace a future where products last, resources are used responsibly, and profit doesn't harm the planet. Friends, what we've discussed today is nothing short of a paradigm shift. Maxwell Chikumbutso's inventions, if true, have the potential to upend industries, reshape economies, and redefine our relationship with energy itself. This is about challenging the status quo, about demanding transparency from our institutions, and about fighting for a future where technology serves humanity, not the other way around. The future is here, and it's time we shed light on the forces that seek to keep it hidden. As always, I am Dr. Cool. Ensure to like this video and share with your pals. Stay cool, remain hopeful and positive. Engage in the discussion in the comment section. Let's resonate our voices as one. Now, if you would excuse me, I have a flight to catch. Thanks for watching. See you next.